It is the final old form of the season. It is the 12th, I believe. Not the 12th, it's the 14th. This match is taking place, but I'm recording on the 11th because why not? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, it's one of the most shittiest old forms going, this one. It, it, just for, for, well, from a Rangers point of view, Celtic total domination, and would you really bet past them in this? Probably not, but we have to talk about it. And we've got last 10 meetings. We've got Rangers with two wins, Celtic with six. Kind of irrelevant. There's been no team news, right? But what I'm hoping for is that Michael Beale just picks the same team that he was going to pick um, for, well, he picked against Aberdeen. Pretty much the same team. I wouldn't like to see the same substitutions like Morelos and all come on. Beale, go with people who's going to be here next season, right? That's what we want. That's what we came here for. Um, Lovelace was good in the Youth Cup final. I mean, I don't actually know what it's called. Glasgow Cup final or something. He's got a few goals there. So I, I bring Luke Lovelace up personally that's my opinion but again for this game it has to be a similar team if he honestly goes with like Kent and Morelos I don't think he will seems like Morelos is done completely Kent maybe not so much uh, McCrory has to start in my opinion why the fuck would you go with McLaughlin or uh, McGregor why like why would you free mix but <laughs> They're up, bricks. But no, McCrory, seriously, I think, sure enough against Aberdeen and nothing warrants him getting dropped, in my opinion. Um, but like I say, guys, this game, it may not seem big. Some I know it's an old farm and some people may think that, but to me, if Beale wins this, it gives Rangers something. It, it, it gives them something. That, that shows you how bad this season is, that we're going into the last old farm and even if we win 1-0 it would seem like a big deal because it would give Beal some sort of advantage going in well not, not a complete advantage over Celtic but it'd be better to go into the summer knowing right we beat them we can do stuff right but the excuse if we beat them will always be oh we're in party mode we're going for the treble we couldn't give a fuck you know the obsessed will say that right but that's what it is um but let's see what you guys said uh, in the predictions, so we'll get the predictions in a wee bit, but I did put up a poll 19 hours ago, of course, Antonio Cholak looks like he's going to be at the club uh, it says here, should we sell Cholak 159 votes, 58% have voted yes, 18% have voted not sure, well 24% have voted no that's quite massive, because like, well let's just split not sure down the middle you add 9% onto your 58, you're getting what, 67 and then you're getting 31. Um, wait, wait, no, that's, that's not right. But wait a minute. You're getting 33, 31. What was I smoking? That's adding seven. I was like, those numbers don't add up. But yeah, so basically the vast majority are saying that we should sell Antonio Cholak is what's happening there, which is shows that he's probably a favour. But we've got the last old firm of the season predictions. We have 253 votes. We've got 63% voting Rangers, which may seem like a lot, but I tell you what, compared to what it usually is, that is massively down and what this channel normally does. Um, usually Rangers is like 90%. 9% um, draw, 27% Celtic. Um, I'll give my predictions at the end, but I'm going to dive into the comments and read the comments. I love reading the comments. So those are our wee laugh, isn't it? Um, right. So, Ronnie Mack has said, let's get it done. They have ridden their luck and our sloppiness in defending. Give Leon King a jersey. Five replies. This'll be fun. David Hutchinson, don't think King will be here next season, mate. Hope I'm wrong, as usual, but don't think he's got it. Lol. Yeah, King, I think he will be here next season, but <sighs> would I throw him into this game? Probably not. I think Suter and Goldson's what I would go for, because they are both going to be here next season. Um, Road our luck, fuck me, what games are you watching? Oh, we've got the obsessed here. Um, David Hodgson says, Wit, we gave you your goals. Sakala missed two setters last game, for fuck's sake. Cry a little more, and then same ones as you. But you're in denial. Poor defending and the Clancy cheat, that clarify it for you. Like, Celtic have beat us, but Celtic haven't been that good in the games under Beal, in my opinion. I don't even think Celtic, but they'll, they'll argue, oh, but we haven't needed to be good. But that's been four games now, surely. Or has it been three? But three games. How many games has it been? Two cups and two leagues. Ah, yeah, it's been four. So they they'll they'll probably argue, oh, but we haven't needed to be good to beat you. But again, I think Rangers have done a good job in some aspects to like nullify Celtic. But most of the goals that Rangers have conceded against Celtic have just been absolutely horrendously defended, and it's not like Celtic have completely ripped 
Rangers just to shred, shreds. Like if you look at the four 0 and the three 0 at Parkhead, like yeah, there was bad defending in those games, like under Geo, but at the same time, Rangers just could not compete. But in these of these other four games, Rangers have competed. It's just mistakes have been fucking horrendous, and that's the bottom line. And like Sakala, like he's saying, um, Tony Macaroni says I'm a Celtic fan, but I think Rangers will win this one. Oh, well, Mark Golledge says, this prediction is like Rangers. It's always wrong. David Hutchins says, just hope Bill can get the monkey off his back. Beat the bastards. Lol. Reply, yeah, David Courtney coming in with a few smiley faces. And Rangers can't win because no one scores goals. Yeah, that's a major problem. Personally, I'm going to go for a draw. I'm going to go for another scoring draw. I'm going to go for one each. Rangers can't score goals, but I think they'll score one. Hopefully, <laughs> and uh, Farahashi's going to score. He, he always scores against us, so that's the bottom line, guys. But it is the last old form of the season. I am looking forward to it a bit, but it's a bit. St it's still a wee bit depressing. But hopefully, next season we'll be back. But until next time, peace.